everybody and welcome to Arnsby Camps. Um, my name is Libby and I'm going to be doing some baking with you this year. Obviously it's a little bit different to how we'd usually do Arnsby Camps which is a little bit sad but at least it means we can still be together um, and we can still be doing some fun activities. Uh, I know you've already had a recipe from Val and that looks super yummy um, but I'm going to be doing some different um, videos with you as well. So today we're going to start off by making what I think is a camp classic hot chocolate. There's nothing better than sitting around the fire at night with a nice mug of hot chocolate with whipped cream on top and marshmallows and sprinkles. It's just brilliant. Okay. Um, in today's video you are going to make hot chocolate. It's a little bit of a different hot chocolate. I've called it posh hot chocolate. Um, and it does involve using the hob. So if you don't usually use the hob at home by yourself, make sure you get an adult to help you. OK, that is really, really important. Um, another thing before you start doing any baking, you should always wash your hands. That is really important, especially at the moment. Um, when we don't quite know what germs we might have on our fingers, it's really important that you wash your hands whilst you're baking, particularly before and definitely after. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you enjoy making your hot chocolate and I'd love to see some pictures afterwards. That'd be great. So yeah, have fun and we'll see you all soon. So first of all, we need to measure out 200 grams of dark chocolate you can use other chocolate if you want to, um, it should still work fine. And then 100ml of double cream, do make sure it is double cream. With either um, of the tools you see, um, make sure you keep stirring the cream. It's really important that you stir it while it's on a medium to low heat so that it can heat up. Um, but if you don't stir it, it will burn at the bottom and then it just won't be very nice at all. So I scrape around the sides and then in the middle and that just makes sure you get all parts of the pan. Don't let it fully boil. You want to get it so it's just about to start boiling. It almost goes foamy on the top. As soon as you can see that's about to start happening, Pour the cream over the chocolate. Now it's important you do this straight away and then just let it sit for a few seconds to start to heat through the chocolate. Then you need to mix it. You need to mix it a lot. The more you make the easier this becomes because there's more heated cream there to melt the chocolate but it, it will fully dissolve and go in. If you're struggling you can pop it in the microwave for 10 seconds at a time. Obviously just make sure that your bowl is microwave safe. It, that looks nice and glossy. You then need to cover it in cling film. Try and make sure that the cling film is actually touching the ganache. Um, which is what you've just made. Otherwise, it tends to have um, a sort of film over it when it sets in the fridge, and that's not very nice. So, yeah, just make sure um, the cling film is touching the chocolate, and then pop it in the fridge for a while. Okay, now it's all set. You can see it's quite hard. Doesn't matter if it's not fully hard. That's fine as well. Now you need to get a cup of milk 
or the mug or whatever you're going to be using and pop that in a pan in the same mug that you're going to be using get about a tablespoon of the ganache and just pop it in so that it's ready if you like your hot chocolate richer put more in and if you like it just with a hint of chocolate put a little bit less in I probably put a little bit too much in this one, but I was a bit excited. Okay, I put way too much in this one, but it was still good. Put your gas on a low heat. Remember, if you don't usually use the hog by yourself, make sure you've got an adult helping you. And just like with the cream, make sure you keep stirring it so it doesn't burn at the bottom. Now with the milk, you want to get it as close to boiling as you possibly can. Once your milk's hot enough, you need to pour it over the ganache that is in your mug. And then either with a fork or a fancy little egg beater thingy, um, you want to mix in your ganache with your milk. Now, ganache is something that's really cool. Before you put it in the fridge, it's quite smooth. So if you wanted to, you could whip it up and put it on a cake and... Yeah, it's just really cool. Once that's fully dissolved, you can pop some marshmallows in, you can put some squirty cream on top, you can leave it as it is, however you want. So that's it, that's your hot chocolate and I hope you enjoy it.